Welcome to the Maths Made Easy tutorial on probability and tree diagrams. Uh, this is the last video in this series and we'll just be covering a quick example question. Uh, so a bag contains four red balls and five blue balls. Raheem picks two balls at random. Calculate the probability that he selects the same coloured ball each time, given that each time a ball is selected it is not replaced. Uh, so this is quite similar to the uh, red and blue sweets uh, example that we've seen in the past. Uh, so let's start constructing the tree diagram. Uh, so first of all, uh, the first event will be uh, the first pick, so let's call it pick 1. Uh, now it can either be red or it can be blue. And then for the, se uh, for the second pick, it can either be red or blue again. So those are our possible outcomes. So let's label that pick 2. Okay, and now we just need to put the probabilities on the uh, tree diagram. Uh, so as there's four red balls and five blue balls, the total is nine originally. Uh, and as there's four red, the chance of picking a red one will be four ninths. Uh, therefore, on the second pick, if the first one was red, there'll be three red ones left and there'll be eight balls in total. So it'll be three eighths. And then the probability of taking a blue one will be five eighths. And then if we go to the uh, first pick again, the chance of getting a blue ball will be five ninths. And then on the second one, uh, the chance of getting a red one will be four eighths, as there's still all four red ones. And then finally, it'll be four eighths. Uh, if he takes a blue ball on the first pick, the chance of getting a blue ball on the second pick will also be four eighths. So that's the complete tree diagram. So now we have to calculate the probability that he gets the same coloured ball uh, each time. Uh, so there's two ways that this can happen. The first is getting a red ball and then a red ball again. So we'll call that P red red uh, now that is equal to four ninths times three eighths uh, so if you multiply the two fractions together that gives us 12 out of 72 and then uh, the chance of him getting a blue and then a blue again we'll call uh, probability blue blue and that is equal to five ninths times four eighths so that is 20 over 72. Now we just have to use the OR rule uh, to add the probabilities together. Um, so uh, P, same colour, so that's the probability that the ball is the same colour each time is equal to 12 over 72 plus 20 over 72 and that is 32 over 72. Now, if you want, you can cancel that fraction down, and if you do so, you should get a value of 4 ninths.